Hello again, digital explorers and globetrotters. This is Borja from Nomadic Neurons. Welcome to the second video in our AI exploration series. In our first video, we introduced the concept of artificial intelligence, its importance, and some real-world examples of how it impacts our daily lives. Today, we delve a little deeper into two important concepts in AI large language models and the difference between narrow AI and general AI. Let's start with large language models, or LLMs for short. LLMs are a type of artificial neural network trained on massive amounts of text data. They perform language-related tasks, like translation, summarizing text, and even generating creative content. Ever use Google Translate to communicate with a local in a foreign country? Or how digital assistants like Siri or Google Assistant can understand your commands? That's large language models at work. Large language models consist of multiple layers of artificial neurons that process information about the relationships between words and phrases in a text corpus. They are trained on billions of words or sentences, learning patterns that allow them to generate text that resembles human language. So how are these models trained? LLMs are usually pre-trained on large datasets, like Wikipedia or Common Crawl, and then fine-tuned for specific tasks or domains, such as medical language or legal documents. This way, they can adapt to specific linguistic nuances and produce more accurate results. Now, let's move to the difference between narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI, also known as weak AI, is designed to perform a specific task, such as voice recognition. Most of the AI that we interact with today, from voice assistants like Alexa or Siri, to recommendation systems like those used by Airbnb or Booking.com to suggest your next destination, are examples of narrow AI. On the other hand, general AI, also known as strong AI, refers to systems that possess the ability to perform any intellectual task that a human being can do. Imagine an AI that could plan your entire travel itinerary, including flights, accommodations, local attractions, even down to the best local street food to try. That's the idea of general AI. However, as of now, this level of AI is still a concept and doesn't exist. That's all for today's video. In our next video, we will dive deeper into LLMs and their real-world applications. So, if you want to discover how AI can help you in your day-to-day, -day, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to join us on our digital nomad journey through the world of AI. Until next time.